Jace Tunnel here with the Mission Aransas Research Reserve at the University of Texas Marine Science Institute. Now I got something interesting for y'all to look at today. And these were all found within a 10 minute period of looking in the high tide line where nobody else looks, like it's way up next to the dunes. Look at this. How awesome is that? These are sea beans. So today, yep, we're talking about sea beans. Um, this one here is called a sea walnut. A lot of ridges on it. You can find them different sizes. Pretty interesting. Now I know some of y'all, this is, this is one of the easiest ones. And this is actually pretty common, but the sea heart. Y'all have seen the sea heart before? It looks like shaped like a heart. You know, a lot of these come from Central and South America. And uh, some of them grow on vines, some of them grow on seeds. Some of them uh, come out of a seed, a large seed pod. And there's multiple in there. Um, and people can actually grow these. This is what we call a hamburger bean. Now, why do you think that? That looks like a hamburger. Got a lot of those. Um, another, a couple of these others here. These are sea coconut beans. And these are actually just little coconuts. And these are actually pretty common too. Sometimes you'll see they've got the, the outer uh, shell coming off like that one right there. And, oh, okay, the sea almond. So there is a almond tree that we find in Mexico a lot and it will drop these all around it. Whenever they're in the ocean for a while and start degrading and in the sun, uh, they get real porous. I can stick my fingernail in there. Uh, but that's what it comes up and looks like. Um, that might, let me see if I can get you a better angle here. So, look at all those. In 10 minutes. Now, what I'll end up doing is I'm just going to leave them here so that uh, the next person who drives by or is walking down the beach will be able to pick these up and... Uh, take them home and you know you can people polish these up real nice they might try to plant them uh, you can google say heart sea bean how to plant it and sometimes you got to leave them in water for multiple like fresh water for multiple days then stick them so much into the um, sand and then keep them watered or mud you know there's all different kinds of things sometimes you gotta uh, sand them with like sandpaper so just look it up. It's real fun to try to see if you can get these things to grow and keep them in a potted, as a potted plant. So, okay, that's it for today. Uh, Y'all have any questions about sea beans, just let me know. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.